Local business owners here in the Valley say some cannabis businesses are on their last leg and they're now making a push to Coachella Valley City Councils to lower taxes so they can stay afloat. The taxes in the cannabis industry are significantly higher than, than the cost of doing normal business. CEO of West Coast Cannabis Club, Kenneth Churchill, has three locations in Palm Desert and Cathedral City. He's paying more than a million bucks a year just in local taxes. Not to mention 15% tacked on for state tax and the standard 8% sales tax. If a customer comes in and spends $100, $31 of that automatically just goes directly to taxes. Churchill gearing up to send this letter to Cathedral City leaders asking for a break in the 10% city tax. He says at least nine cannabis businesses there are signing on. A good majority of them just don't think that they'll be able to survive another year uh, if we don't find some kind of tax relief. Jocelyn Kane with the Coachella Valley Cannabis Alliance Network says high taxes are pushing customers out of legal dispensaries instead to the black market. That illegal market is a place where you can buy cannabis for less money, but it's untested, it's unhealthy, uh, and you don't know where it's coming from. But she says cannabis taxes were always a part of the deal with California cities and something business owners should expect. The agreement is you pay the taxes for the sin of selling cannabis and we'll let you do it. A financial burden, Churchill says, is becoming too much to bear. The ones who've been there for a long time are, are really struggling right now and you're seeing stores close left and right because of it. Churchill hoping to send that letter to Cathedral City Council by the end of this month. He says it's a last ditch effort before some of those businesses will close for good.